Hey guys, this is a video on programming in Python in my Raspberry Pi. I made a program that was a timer that has output of an ID. And I got my programming instructions from the Raspberry Pi user guide by Eben Upton and Gareth Hafferkree. But it is my own design. I didn't use the same program, I should use the commands. Okay, and I have my Raspberry Pi up and running right now. And I am doing things a little differently. Uh, my Python wasn't working correctly. And if your Python doesn't work correctly, and it comes up with these errors when you type in script, I have a way to get around that. You go into the apps down here and then get leaf pad. And I type my script out in it. And that's what I did. And here's the program I did. You open up the file manager and then it's called again. You open it up and that is the script. See, there's it turns LED on, waits half a second, turns it off, waits half a second, and it does that seven times, and then it turns LED on for two and a half seconds, and then it goes off. So to start that, you go into LX terminal and you type sudo python again dot pi and then you press enter there it is blinking it's a white LED and you gotta make certain to remember to put a resistor in there so that you don't burn up your LED and see there it went through the script now I'll run that script again and see, it blinks seven times, and then goes on like a timer on a camera, and then it goes off. And if you're paying attention to the script, you may wonder what the top two lines are. Well, the first one is importing the module into Python that allows it to use the GPIO pins. And the second is the time module that allows you to use all the time.sleep so you can have weights in there. And then the GPIO.set mode, GPIO.board, is setting some more modes. I'm not exactly sure what. And then the fourth line is setting pin 11 to be a output and then all the way from down there is all the script up here you see gpio dot output 11 true that all means the gpio output is saying that's the gpio pins and it's still an output, and then pin 11, and true, turn that pin high. And then time.sleep.5 makes it wait half a second, and then gpio.output11 false means that the gpio pin is still an output, and it's pin 11, and it's false. It, so it turns it low and then it waits half a second and then it repeats that seven times and then you get down here to this line it's turning pin 11 on but then you see time dot sleep two and a half that makes it glow after it's been blinking seven times then it glows for two and a half seconds and then it turns pin 11 off. So it acts just like the timer on digital cameras. 
Well, thanks for watching.